There is a myth that it's difficult to get sufficient protein on a plant-based diet, but in this video, I'll show you how I easily get 80 plus grams of protein a day to support my active lifestyle. Protein is made up of amino acids. These are the building blocks of life. Protein is important for a healthy mind and a healthy body. It's also essential for lean muscle growth and maintenance. And it is so important for helping you feel full and nourished throughout the day. It is not true that plant-based diets lead to a protein deficiency. If that was the case, y'all, I would be dead by now. I have been vegan since 2011 and I am still thriving, feeling my very best. Many of the plants and whole grains that we eat are full of high quality protein and you do not have to rely on processed vegan fake meat to get enough protein when you're eating a plant-based diet. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you all the foods I eat in a day, along with how much protein I get on average. Now, I don't usually count my protein, I don't count my calories. I eat until I feel full and I feel nourished and I feel energized, but I've been taking notes and keeping track of how much protein I get in a day, and you might be surprised. So keep watching and let's dive into the delicious, delicious vegan food I ate today. I like to start my day with a protein rich meal. Sometimes it's savory, other times it's sweet. Oats happen to be rich in protein. Half a cup of uncooked oats contains 10 grams of protein. I make steel cut oats, my favorite kind in the Instant Pot because it is so much faster this way. When the oats are done, I sweeten with maple syrup, add some cinnamon, and I make it creamy with soy milk. Half a cup of soy milk has four grams of protein. I also add ground flaxseed, which has one gram of protein per tablespoon, and a couple of tablespoons of pecans, which have one and a half grams of protein. All in all, this quick and easy breakfast has 16 and a half grams of protein. For more high protein breakfast ideas, check out my high protein breakfast video. When snack time hits, I usually grab some high protein nuts. Almonds are my favorite. I keep them accessible for easy snacking and I always have a bag of almonds in my purse. A quarter cup of almonds has six grams of protein. The protein recommendation for the average American woman is 55 grams of protein per day. Now, that all depends on whether you are very active or sedentary, but let me just talk about myself because this is what I know. I am very active. I practice yoga four to five times a week. I also play tennis every week. I go on long walks every single day. And some of those days I go on many mile long hikes. I'm active. I'm also always on my feet. I'm only sitting down right now to film this video because I've been on my feet all day. That means that somebody like me who is very active is gonna probably need a little bit more than 55 grams of protein per day, whether you're vegan or not. But as you see in this video, I'm going to just be eating regular food. I just had a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast and you saw how much protein was in that. The key to getting enough protein on a vegan plant-based diet is to make sure you are eating enough food to feel full. That's really it. That's the whole story. So make sure you eat enough food to feel full. So I implore you to not rely on processed vegan foods to get your protein. That's actually not a good idea because it costs more money. It's packaged. You don't know what's in there. It's usually full of sodium and sugar and God knows what else. And there are just so many more, more appropriate ways to get your protein, like from legumes, nuts and seeds and whole grains. Speaking of all those things, let's make my sweet potato burgers because they contain chickpeas, which are a legume, almonds and pumpkin seeds, which are nuts and seeds, and rolled oats, a protein rich whole grain. So let's get into that. These sweet potato burgers are perfect for weekly meal prep. I use the food processor to do a lot of the work, so it makes it fun and fairly easy to make. They are full of veggies, nuts and seeds, plus chickpeas, which means they are loaded with fiber and other nutrients, not just protein. To make them, I blend the ingredients in batches, add them to a mixing bowl, and then stir to combine. The best part is forming them into burger patties. These can be cooked in the oven, pan fried, or in the air fryer, which is my preference. For me, two burgers is a serving and contains 12 grams of protein. Serve it with Ezekiel bread and you've got 10 more grams of protein right there, making the whole burger around 22 grams of protein. It's filling, delicious, and nutritious. 
I came out here to eat the rest of my lunch. Now, this burger is so good uh, that I had to have a second one, but I didn't want any more bread. I don't want to be too over full, so I'm just having it. I put some ketchup and a little bit of mayo on top. Mmm, really good. I also eat a lot of fruit throughout the day, and even fruit has a little bit of protein. One large orange has about one and a half grams of protein, and a large apple has about half a gram of protein. Time for another snack. I love edamame. Edamame is soybeans in the pod, so it is as unprocessed as it gets. Edamame is so delicious, fun to eat, and filling. One cup contains 10 grams of protein. Buy edamame frozen at most grocery stores and boil for eight minutes. Salt lightly and enjoy. I ate that entire bag of edamame, y'all. It was so good. I just sat here on my computer eating. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna eat a little bit and save some for baby Jay for after her tennis lesson. Nope, gotta make her some more later. Best snack. For dinner, I'm having black eyed pea salad with massaged kale. This black eyed pea salad is light and fresh. It's so easy to make and it's perfect for meal prep because it gets even tastier as it sits overnight. One cup of black eyed peas contains 13 grams of protein. One cup of kale has about two grams of protein. So I'm guessing that this is about five grams, making the whole salad around 18 grams of protein. By the way, every time I make this black eyed pea salad, my friends beg for the recipe, but don't worry, it is on my blog and in the cookbook. But dinner isn't it for me. Every night about an hour before bed, I have a turmeric latte. I am obsessed with this anti-inflammatory beverage. I make it with one cup of soy milk and that is eight grams of protein right there. I like plain unsweetened soy milk because it is rich in protein, it has a neutral taste, and is sold without added oils, stabilizers, and gums. Turmeric and the other ingredients from this caffeine-free latte help to reduce inflammation and are rich in antioxidants. I've linked to this recipe down below, and in that blog post, I share more about the origins and the benefits of this ancient beverage. The meals I share in this video are basically a typical look at what I will eat in a day. I often start my morning with oatmeal, and then I'll have something more hearty for lunch, and then a lighter dinner, as well as snacks throughout the day, because I love to snack. But everything I ate today, I calculated it. It came up to about 83.5 grams of protein. That seems like plenty of protein and the way I got it was so easy. So if I can get this much protein on a normal plant-based diet, eating very healthy food, I think you can too. Like I said, I don't usually count my calories or my macros or my protein. Instead, I rely on how I feel to tell me whether or not I've eaten enough food, if I've had enough whatever, protein, fiber, because who has time to count calories and protein all the time? I know I don't, but I will say that over the years, I have done multiple videos and blog posts where I am keeping track of how much protein I'm eating in a day. And just like today, it always hits around 80 grams of protein. I am very active, so I do eat a little more than somebody who might not eat a lot of food, but you do see how easy it is to eat a normal, healthy, delicious vegan diet and get more than enough protein so that you really can thrive and feel your best. I encourage you to download my free vegan protein PDF. There is a link down below. I'm gonna give you more information about getting enough protein on a vegan diet. Cause I didn't go into like essential proteins or essential amino acids in this video. So I'll go into detail in that PDF guide download it, it is free. The link is down below in the description box. I'll also link to a few other videos like my vegan high protein breakfast video, as well as other what I eat in a day videos and high protein meal plans that you can check out if you want to make sure that you're eating enough protein on a vegan diet. I understand that it can make you feel more comfortable if you're transitioning to a vegan diet, if you know that you're getting all your nutrients. I get that. So if you have to pay attention to these things for now, that's great, but trust me, if you continue on this path, you're gonna get to the point where I'm at, where you don't even have to worry about it, where you don't have to count the numbers and try to keep track, because you know you're getting everything that you need. So that's my goal, to help you get to that place. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Check out all the links down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.